today's project, I'm going to be using some of these flat back pearls. This is what they look like. I purchased these at Hobby Lobby and I used their online coupon at the checkout counter, 40% uh, off. So you can always look that up when you're in the store. I'll be using these black uh, rhinestones and these peel off. They come on a sheet and they peel off in strips. I peeled them off individually as you see here. And these came from Walmart, but you can get them anywhere. I'm gonna use some E6000 because this is transparent and it's flexible and it dries um, fairly quickly. And I'm also gonna be using my pick me up stick. I have a lot of y'all ask me about this. I will leave a link below look in the comment box where you make your comments at the very top and you'll see um, the link where you can purchase this pick me up stick so let's get started okay so what I'm gonna do is take I put a little bit of the e6000 in a paper plate so I can throw this away when I get done and I'm just using a q-tip to put this on and I am gonna just put a little of the e6000 on and use my pick-me-up craft tool to go through and just randomly place some of the pearls. Whoopsie, it's moving around. <laughs> and um, I'm doing it like this so that I can just throw everything away when I'm done. So I'm just kind of swirling it around. And these pearls, they come in see three different sizes but I am NOT gonna use this really really big one that you see um, I'm gonna skip it I just have it out here uh, just because that's the way I put them on the desk but you're gonna place as many or as little bit of these on here as you like and what I'm gonna do is show you one with just pearls and then I'm going to show you one with pearls and the black. And you all are going to weigh in and tell me which one you like best. Now, the pick-me-up uh, tool works great for these halfback pearls like this because they don't have a sticky backing you can use them for the black rhinestones but keep in mind there was some adhesive on the back of them or rather this strip that was sticky so they're kind of gonna have a little sticky residue on them and they're not gonna want to come up as easily so you may end up having to pick some of those up individually and then you can just use this to move them around and get them situated now you see what the black looks like on it so i'm going to go ahead and continue working on this and then i'm going to show you the completed project and see what y'all think y'all go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you would use these glasses for i think they'd be pretty for a wedding a baby shower an anniversary party but you all always have better ideas than I do for this type of thing. So I want y'all to wait in and leave me a comment and let me know. Oh yeah, I'm loving the black and the pearl together. It's really gorgeous. So I'm going to keep working on this. I think they turned out really pretty. And I did end up using some of the really big pearls that I thought I wasn't going to use. My personal preference is the all white, just the pearl ones together. I just think they look better. Even though I really love black and white together, I don't like, um, I, I guess if it was a black pearl, I don't really care for the black rhinestones with the pearl, even though I thought I would. So y'all weigh in in the comment section and let me know what you think. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Thank y'all for joining me. Check out the other videos on this channel i appreciate y'all love you see you next time bye bye my beautiful people